Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts here to do a poem, <coughs> excuse me, from one of our viewers who desires to remain anonymous. Here it is, the title, The Mark of the Beast, Do Not Read, Per Satan. The Mark of the Beast was news on the streets. The RFID chip would surely make us hip, whether right hand or forehead, tattooed or injected. Life was made so simple by the heads of the elected. No ID was required to travel or eat. No ID was needed to buy or sell on Wall Street. We'd show up without these silly IDs. Now we were bound to the new world decree. Birds of prey, dark angels in flight. Get the mark today, they would say, headed to slaughter. Why were we surprised? The mark of the beast had been Satan's biggest lie. From voluntary to mandatory, the chip was here to stay. 666 embedded on its array, causing the wiser to run away from the cities they did flee from these terrible deities. Revelation 13, 16 was his decree. End times would see the beast on the hands of you and me. With the mark, we would be Satan's victory. Refuse it and heaven will become your destiny. Jesus wanted our love and repentance. God created the universe, allowing our personal independence. Our love for him can be shown by following his rule. And maybe we will stop being influenced by fools. Jesus died for us to give us a choice. There are only two destinations when plotting your course. Repent from your heart before it's too late. Jesus loves us and wants to protect our fate. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing your poem with us. I hope you all enjoyed it. God bless you.